Welcome back, my name is Dre. I help men master their journey and in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can heal past trauma and hangups that I know you have. I know you have them because I went through them as well. I thought that if I just meditated and I focused on the pain and I let the pain bubble up, it would just go away on itself. But it didn't. Surprise! Spoiler! It didn't fucking work. So today, I want to share with you exactly how you can look at this in a different way. Because you have to understand a few things that will exponentially make your results better. Just so much better. And these are the missing, these are the missing secrets that I had, didn't have in my arsenal for years. So stick with me, this is going to be packed full of excellent information that you can take and use today, especially if you've been meditating. Especially, I hope you have. If you've been listening to my channel, you've been meditating, or at least trying to. Maybe you're watching content, how to meditate. Maybe you've been meditating for years and have had no progress or success with healing trauma, balancing chakras. We're gonna go over that today. So listen, man. So when you try to heal trauma, you have to understand that the reason why the traumatic experiences are still running you, are still poison dripping you, is because you absolutely positively identify with them. So that's the first thing. That is the first key step to doing away with how it runs your life. Because don't get mistaken, man. Every experience you've had in your life, everything you've gone through, everything you've witnessed, all of that is in your being. It is imprinted. It's like data on your energetic self, your spiritual being. You can't do away with it. You just can't. What you can do is separate yourself from this emotion, this traumatic experience, and become aware. Because what you really need to focus on is identifying with the sense of self, not letting the pain become your identity, become yourself. First, very important tip, separate yourself. How do we do that? We become aware through meditation. This is where I got hung up so much. I thought that in my meditation, I was supposed to focus on my trauma as much as possible, focus on it, be aware of it and focus and focus and focus and let it go. Feel it fully and let it go, which in a sense does work. But there's something in the beginning that I totally missed. You need to take the steps before the trauma healing, which is become aware that you are not you. You are not your mind. You are not your body. Let that really sink in deep. You are not your mind and you are not your body. When you can make that separation, the pain, the trauma, the physical experiences that you've you know, endured, they, they are not you. You truly create that separation. Now the trick is that you cannot unidentify with your trauma, but you can create a separation, a space between it where in the future, when you get good at meditation and you can relive these experiences from a separate viewpoint, this is exactly where I started making progress. I would go back in time, especially in high school, man, I had so many traumatic experiences, just social shit with kids. You know, kids are mean, man. And they imprinted me, imprinted on me this emotion that stuck with me for decades. And when I started to become aware of them, because they'll bubble up, make no mistake, you don't have to go searching, they will bubble up. They're right there waiting for you. I would literally go and relive this experience, but from a separate self. It's not like I was in my body experiencing it like always. 
I was able to separate, then make another judgment, place a different emotional response in that situation. So for instance, in high school, getting bullied, you know, getting picked on, having that dramatic experience happen, I was able to view it from a different standpoint and think, I'm so glad that that experience happened to me because this and this and this would never have happened. The strength of becoming me would never have happened if these things didn't happen to me, but they happened for me. It was a way of looking at things that completely changed my view. I was able to heal. Separation is key because when you separate yourself from that, you know, you don't identify with the trauma, with the emotional response you had at that moment, then you can move forward. You can move forward. It doesn't all go away. Don't let anybody tell you that you can just do away with everything. Do away. It'll never bother you again. No, man. All I have to do is realize that they're not me. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a diagram because I know that we're human and visual learning is a huge part of us. If this is you and you have a traumatic experience, when you go deep and you meditate and you see this experience, it is directly connected to the ego. Okay. The ego just wants to do its evolutionary uh, duty of protecting itself. It is only an unconscious attempt for the ego to survive. So it's completely natural to feel like you're losing something. This is a huge hang up. I can only say this as if like, uh, if you've ever encountered somebody who is extremely identified with their political beliefs, the religious beliefs, okay, maybe cultural beliefs, when you try to explain to them, there's another picture and you open their eyes to something else, they cannot let it go because they are so identified with it. Their ego will not let it go because it wants to protect itself. The same thing happens with trauma. Okay. You identify with this traumatic experience so much that when you actually have the suggestion of something past it, of separation, it feels like you're losing something. That is good. That is good. This is another reason why meditation is so powerful. When we learn to truly separate ourselves from our mind and our body, to just do that alone, it feels, it literally feels like death. You will feel like you're absolutely losing something. It's just a part of you that you cannot let go of. You cannot, it's so hard. And that is why I always try to tell people, step into uncertainty. It is so uncertain, but when you make that jump, when you completely let go, it's like you're bungee jumping for the first time and you're afraid of heights and you're standing there and you're looking down and that fear, you just cannot bring yourself to do it. That's exactly what it feels like, but you must, you must make that jump in your being. That is the first step to healing all trauma to becoming a better man. It's tough in the beginning. I always say the beginning is always the toughest part. The first step is the hardest. Once you get over that barrier, it's much easier. It's much easier. Believe me, believe me. I have seen with myself and my clients who have endured massive trauma, massive, make this leap and separation and begin slowly to heal themselves by separation, separating themselves from this identity that they have with this trauma. That's how it's done. When you separate yourself, and become outside of this trauma, this cannot affect you anymore. It absolutely cannot because you do not identify with it. You are separate from it. That's the key. That is absolutely key and crucial. But to do this, 
You cannot just do this if you've never meditated before. It doesn't work like that. Meditation is a tool that we can use for things like healing past trauma, clearing our chakras, balancing our chakras, okay? So this is the biggest problem I have with semen retention. You build up and build up and build up and completely open your sacral chakra to where you deny all other six chakras. You cannot sit there and tell me that if you practice retention for months and months and deny your other chakras, that you're doing good to your body or your spiritual self. I do not believe that at all. The other chakras will suffer, specifically the ones close to it, like your solar plexus chakra, sense of self. Hmm, interesting. I have seen people that have practiced retention for years, okay? And they refuse to get into a relationship because they don't see themselves worthy. And when they do, it's with very low quality human beings. Because they're guys that work out, they take care of themselves, they're on their journey, they're on their mission, they're successful, but they end up with very low quality women that don't do any of that stuff because they have a false sense of self because they've denied the other chakras. That's my goal is to help you realize the bigger picture. Make the separation from what you consume this content and make the separation. Just begin meditating. If you watch my channel and you want to get the utmost out of it, meditate every morning. Try five minutes, go to 10, go to 20, go to 30. Easy as that, man. If you don't have time for it, prioritize it. Wake up early, go to bed early. I know that the hour you spend flipping through fucking Instagram, you could be doing better things. You gotta prioritize, man. So thank you for watching. If you dig this kind of content, click the link in the description. You can support my work. You can book a coaching call where I will walk you step by step through things like this. Trauma healing. Finding out where your imbalances are in your chakras. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with somebody who needs this information. I'll see you in the next one, my friend.